Okay, good day po ulit mga Pink Clowners. For today, our discussion is all about what we call as the geometric sequence. Again, this is Bonifacio A. Alus Jr., ang inyong Pink Clown, the math teacher ninyo online. As you can see, what is being written here in my notebook is the geometric sequence. Previously, I have discussed already what is arithmetic sequence. Arithmetic sequence comes up with its clue. Ano yung clue natin doon sa arithmetic sequence? That is the D or the common difference. Dito naman po sa geometric sequence, ang pinaka-clue natin is the R. Okay. R is known to be the common ratio. Okay. Common ratio. And what is that common ratio is all about? Okay. Given an example, just like this one. So we have four 12, 36. Uh, susulat ko muna ha. Hahanapin natin ang A of 10. Again, I repeat. We have 4, 12. Focus ko ng konti. Wait lang. Okay. 4, 12, and 36. We are going to find for the 10th term. A of 10 is equal to the A of or 10 or the 10th term. Tignan muna muna natin mabuti itong given sequence natin. This is an example of a geometric sequence. We have 4, 12, and 36. Kung arithmetic sequence ang gagamitin po natin dito or ihahalin tulad po natin ito sa arithmetic sequence, 4 papuntang 12 ang interval ay 8. 12 papuntang 36 ang interval po is 24. So, hindi po siya makaklassify to become as the arithmetic sequence. But, as we can observe, 4 naging 12. And from 12, naging 36. May napansin po tayo, sana dapat sa kanya. Okay? Yung first term natin, minultiply po natin siya sa 3. Second term, papuntang third term, minultiply din po natin siya sa 3. So, meaning to say, third term, papuntang fourth term, multiply din po natin siya sa 3. At makukuha natin yung 4th term. Okay, so we have this is 1st term, this is 2nd term, and this is 3rd term. Ang pinapahanap sa atin, what is the 10th term? Given the, the uh, general term, a of n is equals to the 1st term or exponent is n minus 1. So, kakailanganin po natin dito ang tinatawag nating scientific calculator. Kasi ah, kahit na ako na math teacher, mahihirapan kapag malaki-laking exponent na ang ibibigay sa atin. Say for example, this is A of 100. Isipin mo kung 100 yan. N, 100 minus 1. Ang sagot is 99. 99 exponent is napakalaking number na po nun, At mahihirapan na rin po ako. Okay? So, let's continue for this. Isolve natin. Given the geometric sequence 4, 12, and 36, hanapin natin ang 10th term. First term, yes, it is identified as 4. Or, 3 ang kanyang exponent. Okay, so, let's start. A of 10 is equals to 4 times 3 10 minus 1 sinulat ko muna para ma-identify nyo a of n is 10 or the 10th term first term is 4 based on the given problem or which is the common ratio pare-pareho 3 ok and then n na nasa taas nya kung ano yung n na nilagay natin dito copyin lang po natin and then minus 1 so, next, a of 10 is equal to, this is a ha, hindi 9. a of 10 is equal to 4 times 3 raised to 9. Ayan, can you follow what happened? Nag-subtract lang po ako. 10 minus 1, kaya naging, ah, 
10 minus 1, kaya naging 9. And then, next, exponent natin siya, 3 raised to 9. Kaya nga sabi ko sa inyo, kailangan natin ng scientific calculator. A of 10 is equals to 4 times what is 3 raised to 9. Kindly compute what is 3 raised to 9. We have 19,683. Uh, pasensya na kayo, medyo magulo yung kamay ko sa camera. No? So, 3 raised to 9, the answer is 19,683. Uh, Look. Nag-umpisa tayo sa 4, 12, and 36. Pang 10th term pa lang, hindi pa tapos yung computation natin, nasa 19,000 na tayo agad-agad. Ita times 4 pa natin siya. What is the answer? A of 10 is equals to 19,683 times 4. What's the answer? We do have 78,732. Ganyan kalaki ang 10th term ng geometric sequence na ito. Napakalaki. Okay, nag-umpisa tayo sa 4, naging 12, naging 36. Pang 10 term, nasa 78,732 na agad-agad ang number natin. Okay, so again, okay, focus ko lang ng konti. Ayan. Yan po yung computation natin screenshot nyo kung gusto nyo, post nyo sa kanyo screenshot, para mas maintindihan nyo po siya okay okay, next we do have this geometric mean pag sinabi po natin geometric mean, that is um, uh, katuluyan pa rin po ng tinatawag nating geometric sequence uh, given a problem, just like this one, insert three geometric means between 4 and 64. Again, I repeat, um, insert three geometric means between 4 and 64. Yan analyze natin. Geometric mean, tatlong geometric mean, sa pagitan ng 4 at 64. Kaya ang itsura po niya ay ganito. Kung i-analyze natin, it susulat natin siya. 4, blank, 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 and 64. Okay? 4, blank, 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 and 64. Geometric mean. Tatlong geometric mean ang pinapahanap sa atin. Okay? Para po hindi tayo magkaroon ng trial and error sa pagkukompute, gagamitin po natin yung a of n is equal to the first term or n minus 1. Okay? Identify natin yung problem. A sub n, meron. Meron tayong first term, walang second term, walang third term, walang fourth term, pero merong fifth term. Okay? Pagkatapos po nun is fifth term ang, ang pinakamataas natin. First term, meron ba? Yes, meron. Anong value? 4. So, we have 4. R natin, meron ba? Wala. Kasi hindi pa natin alam kung ano ang kanyang common ratio. So, copy natin yung R. Ganito. And then, N. What is N? We have 5 minus 1. Exponent po yan, eh. Okay. Exponent po yan. Next. Focus ko ulit ng konti. Fifth term. Ano ang fifth term natin? Fifth term is 64. Okay. So, we have... 64 is equals to 4 or raised to 4. Again, I repeat, 5th term is 64. And then, paano naging 4 yung kanya exponent? 5 minus 1. And then, we have, next thing to do is cancel out yung constant na kasama ng ating variable. So, cancel yung 4, cancel yung 4. Kaya, ang sagot na lang natin dito is R raised to 4. 64 divided by 4, is it divisible? Yes. Anong sagot natin? 64 divided by 4, the answer is 16. And then, kunin natin ang root niya. Kung ano yung exponent dito, yun din po yung root niya. Okay. So, 
fourth root ng 16, fourth root ng r raised to 4. So, cancelled out, cancelled out, r na lang ang sagot natin dito. Next, what is fourth root of 16? Karamihan sa inyo, sasagot kayo positive 2. But nevertheless, the correct answer is positive or negative 2. Yung binibigay kong example is ganito. Um, grade 7 pa lang kayo. What is the square root of 25? Again, I repeat, what is the square root of 25? The answer is 5. Pero, try to consider square root of 25 is also negative 5. Bakit? Patunayan natin. 5 squared is equals to 25. Alam niyo yun. Tama? But, isipin nyo din, negative 5 squared is equals also to 25. So, meaning to say, positive or negative 5 ang dapat na maging sagot natin. So, masagot kayo at palaging tinasabi ng mga teachers niyo what is the square root of 25? Yes, correct answer is 5. Pero, ang binibigay nyo palang pong sagot nun is the principal square root. Not knowing, negative 5 is also the square root of 25. Okay, hindi naman sa not knowing, no? Pero, not giving um, attention to negative 5 squared is also positive 25. Okay? So, positive or negative 2? Nakuha na natin yung ating R. Parang mukhang ano, no? Okay, this is R. Hindi po yung square root. R or the common ratio. Ngayon, patunayan natin, R is equals to positive 2. And then, R is equals to negative 2. For blank, 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 and blah, uh, okay, yung hindi siya blank na, no? 64 na ito, no? 64. Kasi insert 3, geometric mean between 4 and 64. Unahin natin yung positive 2. 4 times positive 2, which is the common ratio. We have 8. Times 2 ulit, which is the common ratio, that is 16. Times 2 ulit, which is the common ratio, that is 32. And another times 2, 64. So, tama yung 8, 16, and 32. Now, let's consider the negative 2. We have 4, blank, 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 and 64. Kung tama rin ba yung negative 2, na common ratio niya. So, we have 4 times negative 2. The answer is negative 8. Negative 8 times negative 2. That is 16. 16 times negative 2. The answer is negative 32. A negative 32 times negative 2. The answer is 64. So, meaning to say, negative 2 is correct also. Negative 8, 16, and negative 32 are also a possible 3 geometric means. So, ayan. Paki-screenshot po. And next is, paki-screenshot din po yung ating computation dito. Medyo blurred lang ng konti. Focus ko. Okay. That's it. Paki-screenshot na rin po. And that is the what we call geometric mean and the geometric sequence. Thank you very much for watching our geometric sequence discussion and kindly answer the given activities on the description below. Later on, nandito rin po sa ibaba or sa next ng ating video yung mga shoutout po ng ating mga pink clowners na patuloy na sumasagot, sumusubaybay at nanunood ng ating channel. Subscribe po for more videos. Thank you very much. Again, this is Bonifacio Ayalos Jr. Ang inyong pink clown na math teacher ninyo online. Okay? Thank you, God bless, and keep safe, everyone.